We've been talking about pressure in class, particularly atmospheric pressure, and we learned that there's about 15 pounds of pressure pushing down on every square inch of surface at sea level. So every square inch of this can is feeling 15 pounds of pressure pushing in on it. And that would add up to probably a several hundred pounds of force pushing in on that can, yet this can doesn't get smashed. Why not? Because the answer is because there's the same amount of air pressure inside. So air molecules are pushing out from the inside just as they're pushing in from the outside. Everything is in balance. That's why the 60,000 pounds of air pressure pushing on me now doesn't just squish me because I have the same internal pressure. What I'm doing now is I am going to boil some water inside these cans. Now, if you remember from early in the semester, when a liquid becomes a gas, its volume expands about a thousand times. So a tiny little bit of water is going to fill the can with vapor and push all of the air out. Once I remove the can from the heat, that water vapor is going to collapse to one thousandth of its original volume, probably about you know a half a teaspoon or so. That would leave a vacuum inside the can, except that air is going to come back in that opening. If we could somehow seal that opening, when the water vapor condensed, it would leave no pressure inside the can and several hundred pounds of pressure on the outside. The trick we're going to use today is I'm going to take the can once the water is boiling. I'll use these tongs and I'm going to quickly flip the can over into this container of water to seal the opening so air can't get back in. So as soon as that water vapor condenses back to liquid, leaves a vacuum inside the can, let's see what that several hundred pounds of air pressure can do to that flimsy aluminum can. All right, it looks like the water is starting to boil in our Coke can, so let's try our first one here and see if we can get that pressure to implode our can. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. That's what air pressure can do. You'll know, notice all the water that got sort of sucked into the can. Let's try that again. Looks like it's boiling pretty well, so we're going to put that in real fast here. Oh, there we go. Air pressure is pretty amazing. I guess it's lucky we have a lot of air pressure inside. This is sort of what happens when your ears pop as you go into the mountains. It's that imbalance in pressure. Luckily, not quite that bad. We may as well go ahead and do our last can here, get one more view of it. So if you don't believe that air pressure exists, ladies and gentlemen, there is perfectly good evidence. It can crush that can very easily. All right, let's get a close-up view this time. So watch very carefully as we do our first one. Yep. That one definitely imploded. Let's do it one more time, in case you missed that. All right, pay close attention. Oh, that one went very quickly. Anyway, guys, so there's a good example of air pressure in action.